So check out that board. So I went out to the barn looking for wood. And I know that most of the pieces I need at a final length is gonna be like, uh, especially the three and a half and the five inch uh, panels that go into the side of these planters uh, need to be 15 inches long. So you look at a board like that and you think, what a piece of crap of a board, right? So this was probably the curviest one that I have that I had on a stack and that just thing went just went horrible. So, but you think, oh, that's a piece of crap. No, it's not. You can take this board and with this horrific bow in it and you can cut those down into the, I'll cut them down to probably 16 inch lengths and uh, you won't see that bow. That'll be gone. When you think about it, you come over here, cut it, cut it. I'll mark them in 16 inch lengths and I'll cut that board. Um, and then, then they'll be reasonably straight. I'll take them over to the jointer and clean them up. And when I'm done, I'm gonna have, I think those, those are gonna be five and a half inch boards that I'll be able to get out of this. Those are, nope, not quite five and a half. So this may end up being more three and a half inch boards. It's about an eighth of an inch short. By the time I clean them up, it's gonna probably be a quarter inch short. So I need them really to be five and a half. So before you take and you run these things through your, this dirty wood like this, through your knives and stuff and dull those things up, you wanna like clean all the dirt off of it you can. So I'll hit this with some like 80 grit sandpaper just to kind of knock off uh, uh, the, the, any kind of like loose dirt or grit. That'll help uh, do it. But as you can see, that, that bowed board, for the most part, most of these are reasonably flat and I just need to be able to mill them down into three quarter inches. They can, I, I've left a little bit more planing to do. I needed to get it reasonably flat to go through the uh, planer. Uh, and so what I just did was jointing. Uh, so I got a nice straight edge here and a reasonably flat edge there where I can run it through the planer. ugly wood is now surfaced on three sides right so I got one rough side left and that's the side we cut down to our final three and a half inch uh, dimension so it's ready to go into the table saw five new three and a half inch pieces of wood here and as you can see it turned out to be actually very nice so uh, so again it's going into a garden box uh, but, uh, so yeah there's nothing wrong with this so I mean I wouldn't even call it farm grade at all it looked that way when we first started with it but that old crooked board has now yielded me five new pieces of wood now you think what am I going to do with a cutoff you take these cutoffs Put them together with the other cutoffs that I had earlier and glue these up into a panel that I can eventually either make a type of cutting board out of or I could uh, mill it, uh, take it over to CNC and carve it into a, a, a like a catch-all tray or something. And so this is not waste either. Uh, this is all good wood. You might be tempted to just throw this in the fireplace. That would be a mistake. So. Um, that's what I've learned by when you have all this equipment, like the jointer and the planer, uh, you can even take something that will look like otherwise oh, scrap and turn it into a piece of art. It's awesome.